The saga continues, ladies and gentlemen. How are y'all doing? So there has been a ton of drama in the Xbox side of things. Dreamcast guy going in, Sony ponies doing helicopters with their release. The Xbox Andy's out there uh, be like, okay, gaming for everybody, gaming for everybody. Uh, guys, I'm sorry to say it, but it's not gaming for everybody. It's more like... BBC bundles for everybody, but now today we also have some good, I guess, decent or maybe bad news about Xbox. I got a video that I want to share with you guys. Like the video if you think Call of Duty should be free right now and you should be paid to play the game. That would be amazing if we are able to get paid for playing Call of Duty. I agree with that. Do you agree with that? Like the video if you do, dislike if you disagree, but wait for it. We have some news and some drama surrounding Call of Duty, as well as Microsoft, who has been in the news a lot lately for shutting down tons of studios and laying off a bunch of employees. Well, today it's come out via The Verge. I'll put a link to the art. Oh my God. Oh no. What am I seeing right now? Dude got a tail? What year are we in, guys? Uh, I stopped playing Call of Duty for a year, okay? This is the only Call of Duty that I didn't buy, and this is what they do. Oh my lord. So they brought in like tails. What? What y'all sick is doing to Call of Duty right now? Dude with a with a cat tail? What the hell? Circle down there in lion, the description. Lion tail? What? What? And that Microsoft is having internal debates about whether or not they should put Call of Duty onto the Game Pass. We've heard a lot of things about that in the past. Everyone yeah. seems to agree it would be fantastic for the COD franchise. It would revive older Call of Duty titles and get even more people onto the current Call of Duty titles because Warzone's one thing. Lots of people play that just because it's free. It's and if free, Call yeah. of Duty, the actual multiplayer zombies, all of that, oh, if that were on Game Pass, which tons of people people already have then even more potential players could end up flooding onto the call I, I, I agree I agree even though I don't have Xbox but like game needs to be on game pass right now and they are actually talking about it right now they're debating behind the scenes whether to put it or not put it if they put it they're gonna lose a lot of money that's what they are saying so they might not or maybe they're gonna put it but later on and there is a lot more stuff that came out too. hopefully the servers uh, overall see. it seems pretty good but it Wait appears it. that Microsoft is debating because they're worried about the money that they would lose and let's just go ahead and check out what it says in the oh. article right here. Microsoft has also had internal debates about whether to put new releases of Call of Duty into Game Pass. I understand that this is a debate that's been ongoing internally for quite some time, with concerns from some that the revenue that Call of Duty typically generates for Activision Blizzard would be undermined by Game oh, Pass. Man. I'm told that Microsoft man. has also considered increasing the price of Game Pass Ultimate again. Are. These are only considered... Bumblecloud! There we are, Bumblecloud indeed. But honestly, bro, this massive f up that just happened made suckers forget about the hell divers 2 situation before hell divers 2 debacle right everybody was saying bro sony you needed to stay silent bro that's it what y'all sick is doing right and then uh, uh after the hell divers 2 situation people were like bro microsoft stay silent bro just stay silent you want it you want the console war brett you want you want just stay silent and these things started firing everybody. They buy studios, shut them down, and now they're thinking about increasing the price of Game Pass, which we all saw coming. But, but like, I would say this, okay? You need to put Call of Duty on Game Pass to get some of that goodwill back from, uh, from people. But even then, it's not gonna fully restore, just like how PlayStation have literally just uh, gangbanged their entire name. <laughs> You, you feel what I'm saying? They, they, and their entire reputation by like forcing people to download or not download but get on the PlayStation Network and make that account. I know on paper it sounds kind of small-ish but like the idea behind it was truly evil and was truly bad because eventually where this will lead us to is if you have PlayStation of course it's not necessarily gonna like uh affect you too much i have a playstation 2 but the idea behind is truly bad because eventually they're going to start forcing people to buy playstation plus and playstation network on pc and what that and eventually they're also going to raise the price for the consoles it, the greed never stops so they're going to be like hey place a pc player give us money but once they have gotten PC players money, right? Let's assume that, okay? Uh, of course, the PC Master Race is fighting back, and they fought back. We all came together, uh, gamers from all walks of life, and then they had to revert the changes. But think about it, right? Greed never stops. So eventually, what their plan was, and still, they're going to try to do it, right? That, hey, we need to make money somehow from the PC Master Race. Get them in the subscription. And then, once they have met that quota, eventually, they're going to be like, yeah, we need to up the price for the PlayStation. 
PlayStation Plus, right? We need to up the price, and they did. They done it not long ago. Like, whoa, yeah, right. They done it not long ago, and they got multiple tiers now. So eventually, they're gonna try to up the price once again as well. This, this is how Mafia works essentially. This is why I'm saying make online free to play. Like the video if you agree. Dislike if you disagree. Iterations. So a final decision could mean we still see a future Call of Duty release appear in most versions of Game Pass. The debate internally reflects the fact that Microsoft's Xbox strategy has shifted from just delivering its games exclusively into Game Pass into considering bringing more Xbox games to multiple, multiple platforms. Whoa. So there's many, many ways that we can interpret this and dissect Whoa. this here, right? So thinking about Game Pass itself, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate is $17 a month. I think it's $10 Sheesh. a month if you want to play it on PC, but for all intents and purposes, con traditionally is more of a console game. I personally play on PC and I'm sure many of you guys do as well, but I still feel like the vast majority of people play on console. Yeah. $17 a month, and if they were to Yikes. put new COD titles on there, oh, that is yeah. a ridiculous amount of money throughout the course of a year. If you're sub to Game Pass for an entire year, Game Pass Ultimate's like $204. I think the okay. reason why Microsoft is debating this- They're gonna make double the amount of money. Absolutely. But here's the thing though, here's the thing. If somebody just like buys it for one month and gets to play thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of games or how many games they got, like just say hundreds, let's just say hundreds, but they potentially got more than a thousand, I would like to believe, whatever the case might be, okay? You subscribe to it for $17 a month USD. So technically I guess 20, 25 Canadian with taxes and all that maybe perhaps, right? So whatever, right? You pay that much for a month and you get access to hundreds of games that's a, that's an insane deal so I, I i said it before i'll still say that's like one of the best thing that xbox got other than that i don't know guys i truly i don't know man but that's the best thing they have but apparently that's not the best deal for xbox themselves because they're saying hey man like uh, we're, we're, we're losing money it's not profitable just yet their goal is to make it profitable a lot more profitable let's just put it that way eventually and if they put call of duty they're gonna lose money because there are surely a lot of people that would sub for it for a month for two months perhaps and then just unsub after that right there are a lot of people that do that and they will wait for good games and good games and xbox i'm sorry to say but uh that don't go too uh too well together okay G yeah gaming gaming for everybody more like bbc bundles for everybody like uh and gaming for everyone and he fires everybody like uh, acquires the studios this is what's happening so it's not even a rumor shuts down the studios he bought <laughs> crazy guy crazy lad crazy lad uh, after all they got the fu money right so i guess it'd be what it'd be but with call of duty if they were to put it on game pass and if suckers actually subscribe to the game pass for a solid year them instead of making 70 us dollars plus taxes they're gonna make 200 plus dollars right so they're gonna more than just double the money closer to double but a little bit more right so they're gonna make a lot of money so i think this is where they at like they really want people to be subbing for a long time for eternity rather than just subbing for like a solid month or two right then they're gonna lose money that's when they're gonna lose money i think this is why they're debating right now this is because right now so many people are already subscribed to game pass and on top of that they get an extra 70 dollars a year from anyone yeah. who wants to purchase call of duty if they that that too that too so like they they got what 20 25 million if i'm not mistaken potentially more correct me if i'm wrong that, that many subscribers so they're making a lot of money with that no doubt and, and if they were to put it on call uh and, and they're probably like hey if you put call of duty on game pass how many more millions of people can we get? Like, how many more signups can we get? Is it gonna be just a million or two? If that's the case, then we're gonna lose a lot of money on the $70 price tag because $70 is the standard for the game. If they keep Game Pass assets but not put Call of Duty on it day one, they can still keep people on Game Pass and also get them to buy the game for $70 that's a lot of money right then they're gonna profit big time and maybe this is why they are debating right now makes sense or potentially they're gonna put call of duty like the older call of duty games but not necessarily the new one day one i guess it kind of makes sense and they're probably gonna put either they're gonna do it day one or like later on i think the uh, i think they're gonna put call of duty on game pass for sure but will it be day one or day one hundred thousand? I, I don't know
add new COD that? games to Game Pass, they're losing that $70 from people who are already subscribed to Xbox Game Pass. This, of course, could be evened out by the number of people who would potentially join Game Pass for the very first time just because of COD. So instead of Microsoft making $70 from those players, instead they could potentially make $204 from them and if nearly they, triple their money. Yeah. Then, of course, you have many other factors out there, which is why I'm sure all these debates are happening. Some other factors would include people who essentially just rent Call of Duty, right? So a lot of people, myself included, when a game I want to try out releases and it's on Game Pass, I'll probably just subscribe to Game Pass for a month, yeah. maybe two, yeah. so I can go through yeah. and play the game and beat the game and then unsubscribe and from Game Pass after. again until something <laughs> yeah. new comes out yeah, that yeah, I want. Yeah. I recently... And if I'm not mistaken, like Xbox for the longest amount of time, uh, they had like $1 trials, right? So seconds would make like new accounts over and over <laughs> and get the trials for a dollar every single month, right? And... and <laughs> And, and, and they saw that they saw that of course they saw that and that was a loophole and they shut it down right after which kind of makes sense honestly that part made sense because imagine like you signing up for a dollar <laughs> trialing for a dollar for a month and then well, maybe it was for 14 days i could be wrong right on that part but but i remember it was for a dollar and a lot of people were like hey just make new accounts bro i know i trick and that is to make new accounts every single month and yeah bro yeah 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 new month did Every that to Starfield, and I thoroughly regret that because new month, new me, new month, new games. Starfield was just not Bruh. a fun game, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of Bethesda. Hey, Old in. I thoroughly regret that because Starfield something new comes out that I want. I recently did that for Starfield, and I thoroughly regret that because Starfield was just not a fun game, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of Bethesda overall. So hypothetically, if there are those people out there who essentially just rent no. Call of Duty by getting Game Pass for a month or two, that means that for Microsoft and Activision, instead of getting 70 bucks for the game, they're only getting like 10 bucks or 17 bucks or whatever, depending on how long they stay subscribed to Game Pass. Yeah. Even then, though, all it would take if the game is good it only takes like four or five months for them to turn a profit on those people who got game pass solely so they could try out the new call to i want to make the profit right now man not in four or five months from now that's uh probably microsoft right now the title i think that we all know by this point that cod has been double dipping for years but yeah. it keeps on working right like they're a full priced 70 dollar game that has the microtransaction model of a free-to-play game they have everything for you know, imagine like they do a thing where if you have game pass you get like all the BBC bundles though. Bruh. You get all the microtransactions, you get the friendly, friendly UAV online, or more like a friendly UAV online. You never know. They might they might do that. And honestly, like if they were to do something like that, then maybe the microtransactions would actually be busted this time. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> never thought I would be saying microtransactions would be busted. And it reminds me of that that tale that we had in the beginning. Holy crap, like what the hell is going on, man? From battle passes to countless 20 to $30 bundles, the recent $80 melee weapon, the recent $100 yeah. weapon camo, they yeah. monetize the holy hell out of the yeah. game. So in my yeah. opinion, I still feel like Game Pass is a good thing overall because yeah. more people potentially are going to be playing the game. And when there's more people playing, that means more people potentially buying microtransactions True. and battle passes and things like that so overall it's yeah they're not gonna wanna like uh, make a deal where you know call of duty comes on game pass and also you unlock like all the the, the microtransactions the bbc bundles the king kongs uh the hundred dollar skin right and, and call of duty community have been saying like i've read so many comments people are saying bro like activision is so nice they're giving you a reward you know, like you, uh, it, it's the, the camo, the King Kong bundle is not $80 or $100. Activision is giving you a reward for basically like buying other skins in the game. That's what people are saying right now. Like, yeah, like, you know, the skin is free. The skin is free, guys. The skin is free, but you have to spend $80. <laughs> it is free. It's a reward. It's our reward. That's what Call of Duty community say. F all with that, bro. Like To me, it still feels like it would be a benefit for Activision and Microsoft and the player base, but we'll have to wait and see if it ends up actually happening. I think at the very least, however, older COD titles need to be on Game Pass. I've talked Agreed. about this so many Agreed. times in the Agreed. past, but it would be such a boon for those old games to have people all just have them digitally for free via yeah. Game Pass. Like, oh, yeah. World at War. I remember playing World at War. I'm going to download that since I now Black own it. And I don't have my old disc anymore. 
more, then they hop Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, yeah. Hop on, they play. I think it would revive the player base on a lot of those older COD titles and make it so we could finally play things besides Team Deathmatch. That would be pretty fantastic. And I also, agree. on top of that, more recent games, right? Like, the moment that Black Ops 6 or whatever the hell we're calling it now releases, I feel like Modern Warfare 3, right away, throw it on Game Pass. Are they really making that much money on residual sales of Modern Warfare 2 from last year? I, I honestly think, like, best case scenario, they probably want to put, like, latest Call of Duty games, but definitely not day one. And, and put it, like, whenever, for example, like, Modern Warfare 3 2023 comes on Game Pass when Black Ops 6 releases, or a couple months after Black Ops 6 releases, so let's just say a year and a half after launch, right? I can see, I can honestly see them do that. They're gonna boost the, the Game Pass sales as well, and they're also gonna get the $70 up front from the Call of Duty beta testers. After all, we beta testers for Call of Duty, dammit! We are beta testers. I didn't buy Modern Warfare 3, but I'm looking forward to Call of Duty 2024 it is. Yeah, bruh, I forgot bruh. what year we were in. <laughs> we are in. I'm looking forward to it. If it's good, then I might. If it's bad, then I might also skip it. But if, but if they put it on Game Pass, then yeah, second gonna be like yeah well, brad like i wasn't gonna buy call of duty so let me just go ahead and play it through game pass so it can it can be like honestly a very good thing but why are people mad with xbox right now there's a video going around there's a bunch of stuff going around in the scene right now check out this video on the screen catch up on the latest gaming drama buckos and on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel check out both of these videos and i'll see you right there